I learned a really valuable business lesson that is going to apply to really anybody who is trying to make something happen in their life, especially if you're a musician. And uh, you're going to hear some noises. You're going to see my hands moving because I'm making myself an espresso the right way. You feel me? So I wanted to share this with you because I think it's going to be a really valuable lesson. And uh, it's really liberating. And here's what it is. So in my music business now, which by the way, if you don't know what that is, I teach songwriters how to become their own music producers in 90 days. And I do it through mentorship. So what I do is like, I do a lot of different things in my business. And I really learned something that uh, I think is pretty valuable to anybody. And it's funny because it's a lesson that I learned years ago. Uh, and it's the reason that I got into being my own producer as a songwriter. And so what that lesson is, I'll share with you the story. So I became my own music producer after seven years of grinding it out as just writing lyrics and then getting, you know, getting beats from people and, you know, hiring out for mixing, mastering, what have you, all those different things. And basically... After I began producing my own music and getting good at it, I came up with a quote that honestly changed my life. And it's do more for yourself than anyone else can do for you. That doesn't mean never hire. That doesn't mean never work with other people. But what it means is you never let anybody have so much leverage on you that you can't escape it. And what I started getting into as an entrepreneur was a lot of hiring out. When you start making some money, one of the first things you want to do is buy back your time, okay? And it's this really amazing idea of like, okay, I'm working, like I've been grinding my ass off for 13 years, like myself, aggressively, day to day. And when you finally make some, when I finally started really making money, 10, 20, 20 plus K a month, I was like, dude, I want to fucking hire people so I can get rid of these tasks and not have to do them myself. Things like video editing, appointment setting, um, all types of shit like that. And I, 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 I was doing that. And you know what ended up happening is really funny. Not everyone I worked with, but a lot of the time, the problem was I would just hand it off to them. And I, I gave them systems. I taught them how to do the things I wanted, but still things weren't done the right way. And it was because truthfully, I wasn't that great of a manager and a leader. And what ended up happening was because I'm not really that, it's not that much revenue. I wasn't that profitable. And so not only was I not profitable, but I was getting more headaches because I had to manage people doing the job wrong. And I was getting worse results because it wasn't me doing it. And so what I've learned through this whole experience is basically this. However much money you think you have to go pay someone else to do something, chances are you probably don't have enough. Like, you probably don't. You probably don't have enough money to truly pay someone who's really worth it. When it comes to actual good videos, for example, like if I want to pay a great videographer, right? Like I'm about to work with this videographer. We're going to do, what are we doing? Like we're going to do like micro music videos that are vertical. And I think we're doing like six total clips. It's a thousand dollars. I have the money to pay and I'm going to pay him. But at the same time, it's like a thousand bucks for six little micro videos. Like... And he's not even really going to edit them. He's just going to color grade them. I'm the one who's going to do the sound and the fucking words on screen type shit. Like, I'm going to do all that. So it's just kind of funny. Like, it's worth it, though. Like, he's worth the money. But what's funny about it is, like, you think you have enough money for something. And then you realize once stuff starts to add up, you don't. And then you start to realize, damn, maybe I should just do this all myself. You know what I mean? Video editing for Instagram Reels, for example. Like, I'll film myself. Right, you, obviously you guys see me film myself now, but I'll film myself right back there. And you know, I'll do my thing talking about some kind of music gems vertically and I'll put it for Instagram. Then I'll go pay an editor to do that. I know how to use CapCut. I know how to do video editing in that style. I know how to add words to a screen and make things pop and do color grading. I don't need to hire someone to do that. But the reason I did it was because I wanted to buy back my time. I wanted to free up my time. Truthfully speaking, I'm not at the level where I should be doing that. And I would argue, I would argue that you're probably not either. And I would also argue that if you're not doing at least $100,000 per month in revenue, new in like cash collected, you shouldn't be hiring that many more people either. 50K a month, maybe. But 
if you're not at that 100K a month level, like you're not doing seven figures, you shouldn't be hiring that many people. You should be doing most of your work yourself because most of the results aren't coming from you buying up your time, freeing up your time. It's doing more. So I learned that lesson. It's Friday and I'm honestly like so thrilled and pumped that I learned this lesson, which really I have to credit my mentor, Austin Medlin on this one, because had I not, I was going like, I was starting to go downhill and he really like made me realize, dude, you need to like take control back of some of these things because you do everything right. And when Lee, when you do everything, things go up. It's when you've started hiring people and mismanaging them and keeping your eye off the ball that things aren't going well. So he's like, take back the control, stop hiring so many people and do everything yourself till you get to a level like 100K a month where you can actually hire high quality talent and pay them well. So I wanted to share that with you guys. You know, you might be in a situation similar, especially if you're a songwriter watching this, you might be in this situation where you're thinking, well, I want to pay a team. You know what I mean? I want to pay a team. I want to have a team. You know, I want to pay producers. They are going to make beats better than I can today. Well, here's the deal though. You're going to pay all this money for something you really can and should do yourself, which is produce instrumentals, record your own vocals, mix and master. Think about the tens of thousands of dollars you're going to save if you do that. Like my client, Ryan B, he used to pay out tons of money and waste tons of time waiting for producers. 90 days, he makes 30 beats, record, produces and records five songs and mixes and masters one of them. Devin Chris Tadulu used to pay $1,000 per song to get it fully produced. And then in 90 day span of working with me, he produced three songs. Jaden Ari hadn't even produced, coffee's ready. Jaden Ari hadn't even produced, you see that steam that just rolled on by? Oh my God, I just burned myself, fuck. Fuck me, I spilled some fucking coffee on me. Oh my God, I'm trying to fucking sell you my fucking program. I fucking came and do it because I'm burning my fucking self. By the way, watch this real quick on this. Watch this cup, watch this. Do you see how it's lighting up? Do you see how it's lighting up like the Aurora's Borealis? We got that shit in Alaska it's at a dog sledding place. How fucking sick is this cup? Worth burning my hand over for sure. Owie. My client, Jaden Ari, like he was having trouble because he was trying to meet up with his homie to get his songs produced, but his homie was like busy with life and shit. So even though he wasn't spending money, Jaden was like, well, bro, I, I know I'm not spending money and that's like cool, but like you're not really making time for us to make music. Like I need to figure this out. So he joined my program and I think he's released shit. I think he's released four songs that he fully produced, wrote, recorded, mixed, mastered. And it's freaking insane. Now he and I have a collab coming out. Like I could literally just go on and on and on and on and on with all these client examples I have. Um, but if you want, you can just find out for yourself. Click the link in the description if you want to learn how to produce your own music in 90 days. I'll show you the whole full breakdown process. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed watching me make coffee and burn my fucking hand and looking at this sick ass mug. All right. Hope you have a great rest of your Friday. See you on the next one. Peace.